What do you mean by Clipper Circuits? Well, my name is Rishi Ranju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term Clipper Circuits? Well, let's find out. So, a Clipper Circuit. A Clipper Circuit is basically an electronic circuit in which when we give an input waveform like this, when we give an input waveform, let's say a sine waveform like this, then we can control this waveform in such a way that this particular waveform does not exceed a particular limit. That is, at this particular limit, we can clip off this particular waveform and we'll get the output somewhat like this. So therefore, a clipper circuit is simply an electronic circuit in which we can prevent the output waveform from exceeding a particular value without distorting or without damaging the rest of the original signal. This is simply what you refer to as a clipper circuit. So here, at a particular value, we are clipping off this particular input signal and therefore at the output over here we get a clipped signal like this. This is simply what you refer to as a clipper circuit. So there are mainly three types of clipper circuits. One is a positive clipper circuit, the next one is a negative clipper circuit and finally we have a biased clipper circuit. So what are these? Well, let's find out. So first let us see what you refer to as a positive clipper circuit. So every clipper circuit has got Two components. A clipper circuit has got a resistor as well as a diode. So here a positive clipper circuit looks somewhat like this. First we would have a resistor like this and then we would have a diode like this and the output is obtained over here. So here this is the input and this is the output. So this is simply a positive clipper circuit. So how does this act as a positive clipper circuit? Well, let us assume that we are giving an input sine wave signal like this. Let us assume that we are giving an AC input over here. Let this be V in. And now at the output what we observe is that, so let us consider the positive half cycle. So here this is positive. So here current flows like this. So we know for a fact that a diode will conduct when it is in the forward bias condition but it will not conduct when it is in the reverse bias condition. So here in the positive half cycle what we observe is that we have a current that flows like this. So therefore here since this is in the forward bias condition this diode will start conducting and therefore we get a current like this. So therefore since there is a flow of current like this nothing is obtained at the output. So therefore in the positive half cycle we do not get any output over here and that is the positive half cycle entirely has been clipped off at the output. But now let us consider the negative half cycle. So when we consider the negative half cycle, now the current flows in the opposite direction. So now when the current starts flowing in the opposite direction, what we observe is that when it starts flowing like this, here this diode is in the reversed bias condition. So therefore when this is in the reversed bias condition, the current would not flow over here and therefore what we observe is that we would get an output voltage V out over here because no current flows through here and therefore we get an output over here. And therefore, during the negative half cycle, what we observe is that along with the input voltage, the output voltage also follows it like this. If the value of this is say Vm, then this would also be Vm. This is simply what you refer to as a positive clipper circuit. That is, we have completely clipped off the positive half cycle of the input signal. And therefore, we get an output signal like this, only with the negative half cycle. This is simply what you refer to as a positive clipper circuit. So now, next let us see what you refer to as a negative clipper circuit. So, in the case of a negative clipper circuit, 
all we have to do is reverse this particular diode over here. So here this diode is connected like this. Let us now analyze how this particular clipper circuit acts as a negative clipper circuit. So here let us give an input sine wave signal or an AC input signal like this. If let this be the input. Let the value of this be plus Vm and let the value of this be minus Vm. So here let us assume that we are giving an input signal like so here during the positive half cycle we know that the current starts flowing in this particular direction. So when it starts flowing in this particular direction what we observe is that this particular diode is in the reverse bias condition. So therefore no current flows through here. Therefore since no current flows through here now the only option is that this would now go over here and therefore we would get an output voltage which moves along with this particular input voltage like this. So now, now let us consider the negative half cycle. So in the negative half cycle, we now know that in the negative half cycle, the current starts flowing in this particular direction. So in this particular direction, what we observe is that this particular diode now becomes forward bias condition and therefore current starts flowing through this particular diode. So since current starts flowing through this particular diode like this, we will not get any output over here because the current just keeps on flowing in this particular loop and therefore we get nothing over here that is the negative half cycle of this particular input signal has been completely clipped off. So here this is the case when this particular diode is an ideal diode but let us assume if this is a non-ideal diode then in such a case what we observe is that this would get clipped off at a particular threshold value like this which is equal to 0.7 volt. This is the case if this particular diode is a non-ideal diode. This thus is simply what you refer to as a negative clipper circuit. So these are the cases in which we completely clip off one particular cycle of an input signal. But there are certain cases in which we need to clip off a particular signal at a required particular voltage. That is when we use bias clipper circuits. So what are bias clipper circuits? Well, let's find out. So a clipper circuit can have either a positive biasing or a negative biasing. So first let us see a clipper circuit with a positive biasing voltage. So here first we would have an AC source like this. Then here we would have a particular resistor. Then here we would have a particular diode like this. And then here we would have a biasing voltage like this. This is a clipper circuit with a positive biasing voltage. So now let us see how this particular circuit works. So here let the input voltage be V in and let this particular biasing voltage be V. So therefore this particular biasing voltage would always be like this. And now the output is obtained over here. So here let this be the diode D. Let this be a resistance R. So here the diode D is turned on whenever the value of V in is greater than this particular biasing voltage V. So therefore whenever the value of this input voltage is greater than the biasing voltage V then we say that this particular diode is turned on. Very simple guys. So let us now see how this acts as a particular clipper circuit. So first let this be the input signal that we are giving V in. And now here let us observe what output we are getting. So here first what we have to do is we have to mark this particular V value. So let us assume that this V is somewhere around here. Let this be V. And let us mark it over here as well. Let this be say V. So now let us consider this particular this much condition. So in this much condition when the input voltage gradually increases from zero what we observe is that in this much condition the input voltage is less than this particular V. So that is V in is less than V. So when V in is less than V what we observe is that this diode does not conduct anything. That is, this diode is turned off. 
So therefore, there is no flow in this particular diode. And therefore, what we observe is that up till this particular value, there is a slight increase in the voltage along with the input voltage like this. So now after this, let us consider this much value. So here what we observe is that the value of V in is greater than V. So now because we know that when the value of V in is greater than V, the diode D is turned on. So therefore at this particular value over here, current starts flowing through here. So therefore when current starts flowing in this particular loop, we will not get any output over here whatsoever. So here in this much area, what we observe is that the signal has been clipped off like this. That is, we will not get the input signal like this. Rather, it would get clipped off at this particular voltage V. So now for the rest of the condition over here, we know that the input voltage V in is less than this particular voltage V. So therefore, if V in is less than V, this particular diode is turned off. And therefore, whatever output we get would be following the input signal like this. So here we have clipped off this particular signal at a particular required voltage. This is how we design a clipper circuit with a positive biasing voltage. So just like I mentioned before, this is the case when this particular diode is an ideal diode. So if this is not an ideal diode, then this would be clipped off over here like this at a clipping voltage equal to V plus 0.7 volt. That is the diode is turned on only when V in is greater than V plus 0.7 volt. This is simply what you refer to as a clipper circuit with a positive biasing voltage. Now, next let us see a clipper circuit with a negative biasing voltage. So, in the case of a clipper circuit with a negative biasing voltage, we just turn this D around and this biasing voltage V around. So, this is a clipper circuit with a negative biasing voltage. So here the diode D will be turned on only when the input voltage V in is less than minus V. So now let us see how this particular circuit acts as a clipper circuit. So let us give an input signal like this. So here, since this is a clipper circuit with a negative biasing voltage, let us now mark this particular V. Let it be, say, here like this. Let this be V. And now let us plot the output voltage V out and let us mark this reference voltage V like this. So now, in the positive half cycle, what we observe is that this particular V in is greater than this minus V. And therefore, whatever input we give, we get the exact same output like this. And until here, we would get the exact same output like this. But here, at this particular point, what we observe is that the value of V in is less than minus V and therefore in that condition this diode starts conducting and therefore we will not get anything at the output and therefore this is clipped off until here. This signal is clipped off like this and it is only after this particular value again what we observe is that V in is greater than minus V and therefore we will get the exact same output like this. So this is a clipper circuit with a negative biasing voltage where we have clipped off this particular input signal at this particular voltage value over here. So till now we saw clipper circuits in which either we can clip off the signal at the negative cycle or we can clip off the signal at the positive cycle. So what do we do if we have to clip off both these cycles. That is when we use a clipper circuit with dual biasing. So in the case of a clipper circuit with a dual biasing here, this is the combination of both a clipper circuit with a positive biasing as well as a clipper circuit with a negative biasing. So here let this be D1 and let this be D2 and let here this be V1 and let this be V2. Let this be R and let this be V in. And here the output is obtained over here. So here the diode D1 is in the on condition when V in is greater than this particular voltage 
V1. And subsequently, the diode D2 is in the on condition when V in is less than minus V2. Exactly the same conditions which we saw in the previous two cases. So now, let us see how this works. Let us consider an input sinusoidal signal like this. Let this be an input signal, an input AC waveform. So here, if this is the case, first let us mark V1 and V2. So now here, we have to get the output signal over here, V out. So here, let us mark V1 and V2 over here. Let this be V1 and let this be V2. So here, in this much particular condition, what we observe is that both D1 and D2 will remain in the reverse bias condition and therefore we would get an output like this. But over here what we observe is that V in is greater than V1. So V in is greater than V1. So therefore this much gets clipped off like this. And now in this much particular condition we get the exact same output because both D1 and D2 is in the off condition. But over here, what we observe is that V in is less than minus V2. And therefore, here, this much signal gets clipped off like this. And therefore, in the rest of the case, we get the exact same output because both D1 and D2 are in the off condition. So this is simply how you design a clipper circuit with dual biasing voltage. This is simply what you refer to as a clipper circuit. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have clear understanding of what you refer to as a clipper circuit. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.